The following program has been rated GE by the Kenya Film Classification Board. It is therefore suitable for general family viewing. Hello viewers, welcome to Chungu Chajami. I'm your host, Eunice Mugo. Today on the show, I have invited a guest who is going to help us to understand more about career path. What is career path? Why do we need guidance on the career issues? Who are most affected? Today's guest is our principal from a good school that she's going to introduce herself. She's so good in what she's doing <laughs> and she'll help us and give us insight all round about the career path. Yeah. Welcome guest. Thank you. So my name is Masi Saidi. I'm uh, the deputy principal Mahanaim College. In Mahanaim, of course, we train the technical courses. We are so much inclined into the hands-on skills, and uh, also our students get some skills or mindset. So I can say it's the world's best college. Wow. Yes. Thank you so much, Madam mm -hmm. Masi, Asante. for honoring our invite. Mm -hmm. And having come from uh, the, be the world's best mm -hmm. college, yes, yes, we'll yes. get the best insight from the world's <laughs> best teacher. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. So, career path. Mm -hmm. uh, given that you're um, dealing with students who have just finished their high school, mm -hmm. or maybe... Uh, who, uh, when you've introduced and said hand-skilled hand mm -hmm. courses, eh? mm -hmm. so meaning if I'm not good at books, mm -hmm. I still have a chance in your school. True. I still have a chance to get educated and do something with my hands. Yes. So when you talk about career path, mm -hmm. what is it? What is career path actually? Okay. Mm -hmm. So in my understanding, I, I think everybody in life mm -hmm. has an objective, especially mm -hmm. a career objective. When I want to grow up or when I grow up, I want to become this. Mm -hmm. So for you to get to that point, there are those steps you take mm -hmm. to reach that de destination. Mm -hmm. So that professional growth or that... Uh, the steps you take to reach the career objective, those are the ones who I would say mm -hmm. are the career path. Mm -hmm. Yes, so the route you will take. It mm -hmm. could be a long one, could be a short one, depending on where you are, mm -hmm. but that direction or the route you will take to get to the direction you want mm -hmm. in life, that's mm -hmm. a career path to me. Wow. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. So given that we are looking at the objectives, mm -hmm. uh, when we say objective, mm -hmm. yeah, we, we, we are looking at a specific something. Mm -hmm. What guides us for us to have that specific thing mm -hmm. for me to attain a certain goal? So, mm -hmm. uh, for instance, maybe when you're talking about students, mm -hmm. uh, you'll find that uh, one student will say, I'm aiming to get 350 and above. Yes. That is my objective. Yes. So I'm not targeting anything below, but mm -hmm. anything above. Yes. So I have to work hard. I what I have to work hard to add that direction. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to career, mm -hmm. what are we looking for mm -hmm. exactly for you to say this is my objective? I want to be maybe mm -hmm. a musician. Mm -hmm. I want to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. What are we looking at exactly for me to be objective into that one direction? Oh. Direction. Sorry. So it depends. With uh, of course, when you're born, there are so many things which can lead our di to our direction. Mm -hmm. So when we are born. Most of the times we have something in mind, I want to become a doctor. Then you will work hard towards that direction. Of course, you will not stop at the doctor. Mm -hmm. You want to be maybe, because m most of the times they say, I want to be like, uh, for example, a pediatrician. So to get to a pediatrician, there are the steps you will follow to get there. And uh, that requires determination, that requires passion, because if you're not passionate towards that, mm -hmm. then of course you cannot attain it. At some point, you will stop on the way. Mm -hmm. So what, what are you going to do to become a pediatrician? That is what matters during the career, the career progression path. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. So when you say uh, if you're not passionate, mm -hmm. you're going to drop along mm -hmm. the way. Mm -hmm. uh, what makes, uh, okay, what inspires uh, this person mm -hmm. to go into a, into this certain direction because as you've mentioned when mm -hmm. you're saying when you're growing up mm -hmm. I want to be a teacher mm -hmm. uh, three five years down the line mm -hmm. I want to be a musician mm -hmm. six down and 
the line, mm -hmm. I want to be a doctor, I mm -hmm. want to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, from four, okay, you, they get, the, the teachers now are talking of choosing subjects that are going to help you mm -hmm. to build your career. Yes. And now I'm confused. Mm -hmm. I want to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. I want to be an accountant. I want to be a, I'm so confused. Mm -hmm. So what inspires a person mm -hmm. for one to settle in a certain dream or a career? Th there are so many factors eh, mm -hmm. that lead someone to settle in a certain career. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure, like mm -hmm. I give an example of myself. Mm -hmm. When I was born, mm -hmm. I wanted to be a doctor, mm -hmm. a medical doctor. Mm -hmm. But uh, as days went by, from where I was, I mm -hmm. got to a high school. At that point, things happened on the way. I could not get a grade to, re to make me get to, to be mm -hmm. a doctor. Mm -hmm. So because of that, mm -hmm. that dream was closed and I had to look for another way in life. Mm -hmm. But again, when I look at myself, yes, I wanted to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. And maybe the reason I wanted to be a doctor is because my dad is in that, is in that mm -hmm. field. Oh, oh. Or maybe because uh, when I look at people outside there, they say doctors are the best people, but truly inside me, that is not my passion. That is not what I like doing. Actually, I don't even, right now, I don't think of myself injecting someone. Mm -hmm. It's not something I've thought about. Mm. I, I, I feel I would be, I would not, I actually I would be living my nightmare if mm. I would have, have, have become a doctor. But the moment I could not attain the grade which is required, I looked at what I like most. And my dad gave me the chance to think about myself, what I love. And I realized I'm an introvert. So someone who is an introvert, maybe, cannot fit in an environment where I will interact with people all the time. And that's why I found myself in the IT world. So in the IT, I feel so comfortable. So eventually I wanted to become that doctor, maybe the name, because not the, what they do, mm -hmm. but the name maybe, that is what was making me passionate mm -hmm. of becoming one. Mm -hmm. But even with my career, I can still become a doctor. If I do my PhD, I'll become a doctor, but not, 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 not the doctor of medicine, mm -hmm. the doctor of the IT. And okay. I will have reached my goal and I will be satisfied and happy. Mm -hmm. So because of the passion and maybe because of the influence from my parents, because of influence from the society, I wanted to be something I could not be at the end of it all. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the factors that will lead us to making decisions. But mm -hmm. I, I, I would say if you're passionate over something, mm -hmm then go for that. Mm -hmm. That will really satisfy you. Mm -hmm. Something you will wake up in the morning and you'll be so happy to do. Even though someone is not paying, you will be happy to do. Mm -hmm. That is what I think would be the best progression for nice. me. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I like that because by the end of the day, you don't have to wake up going to work or mm -hmm. going to school, mm -hmm. studying something that is not fulfilling you. Mm -hmm. You're complaining every day about it, but mm. yet you're not doing anything to yeah. change it. Yeah. So uh, you've mentioned something about uh, when you were growing up, you mm -hmm. wanted to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, and later, the grades didn't allow you. Mm -hmm. So you, cho you mm -hmm. chose to change mm -hmm. to the better version of you yes. after understanding yourself mm -hmm. through the guidance of your parents. Mm -hmm. Now, another question I'd like to ask is, mm -hmm. Given say that you mentioned about gra grades, mm -hmm. why do grades affect us? And what should we do? It has affected me, yes. Mm -hmm. What is the way forward? Mm -hmm. It is not affecting me, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. What is the way forward? Mm -hmm. what, why, why do grades play an, a significant role okay. for us? Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think uh, our education system mm -hmm. uh, leads us to that mm -hmm. because when you look at our education system mm -hmm. for you to qualify for something mm -hmm. then you must attain a particular grade there is a score mm -hmm. that is the education system the government is trying to, trying to face out mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. um, for you to be a doctor you must have an a for you to be an engineer you must have an a so that influences so much because all of us do not have the same ability Maybe when you're sitting for that exam, you are not yourself. For example, I said something happened. Mm -hmm. I did my exams from the hospital. So given that scenario, I could not perform True. as expected. Maybe during the time I was in high school, everything was okay. 
uh, although I did not choose one of the subjects like physics and such because I could not perform in that subject. And then for you to perform, you need to at least pick subjects you're good at. And then eventually you can get that A, then you can become a doctor. So that was really a challenge for me. And I think it's a challenge to most of the students, even when I meet them there. You had a very high expectation. Something happened, the exam, the exam came different, like, you, like not the way you expected it. And eventually you get disappointed because what you're getting at the end of it all is not what you're, you're expecting or you, you're expecting to get. Mm -hmm. Maybe something happened in your school. Maybe the school was like disqualified and because of that you're affected and maybe there is nothing you did to cause the, that. Mm -hmm. So because of that, I've seen so many students affected and uh, some go to the point of committing suicide True. because this was my expectation. I did not get it. I don't have hope in life, mm -hmm. but I don't think that should be the case. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, I'm thankful because of this uh, curriculum, the CBC, because it's trying to face out that aspect of I must get an A for me to be in a university. Mm -hmm. Then that will at least help us at some point. True, so, yeah. true, true. Yeah. You've mentioned something good, uh, Madam Masi. You've mm -hmm. said uh, once you're not able to attain the grades that you want, mm -hmm. once you're not motivated to where you was, mm -hmm. you wanted to, I wanted an A, mm -hmm. I've gotten a C plus. Mm -hmm. So I get kind of depressed. Mm -hmm. I feel lost. Mm -hmm. I feel that I have missed to attain what I wanted. Yes. Maybe because of the pressure from the family mm -hmm. or even for myself mm -hmm. because I know what I'm mm -hmm. able to perform. Mm -hmm. This thing has happened. Mm -hmm. And you said we have had cases of people committing suicide yeah. a lot, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you're talking to them, what is the solution? Mm -hmm. Because taking away your life or committing suicide, yeah. it's not the solution. Yeah. You've left your family mourning. Mm -hmm. You've not achieved what you're supposed to achieve. Mm -hmm. You're still young. Mm -hmm. So what is the solution for you, not, for you to wake up now from this depressed person mm -hmm to achieving and being a, maybe a motivation mm -hmm. or being a role model. Mm -hmm. Because by the end of the day, you'll have a family. True. You'll have people who are looking up yeah. to you. Yeah. So for you to wake up from this mm -hmm. cocoon, let me just call it a cocoon mm -hmm. of depressing yourself because of your grades mm -hmm. and waking up to become something better even without the grades. Mm. So what, 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 will, what is the solution now? Mm. Yes. So there are so many ways to mm -hmm. deal with that. Mm -hmm. um, one, mm. I've seen students who opt to go back to school, mm -hmm. especially if your potential was at stake there and maybe something happened and you could not attain and you're sure you're going to attain it, mm -hmm. then you can go back to school, True. you repeat, Although most of the times when, when I've checked like the series I've seen, eh, even though you repeat, most of the times you improve with one grade. So if you are at C, you get to C+. Plus. That, that's what I've seen continuously. Maybe if you repeat at form three, maybe most of the times you have to repeat at form three and then you can, you can, you can at least gain something from your grade. Although I've also seen cases where students repeat and they, they drop. So I've seen both scenarios. Mm -hmm. eh? So that is one option you can take. Mm -hmm. The other option is you can grow from where you got. Nowadays, the Kenyan education is giving you an opportunity to, to progress. You can start from the artisan level. If you are someone, maybe you got a, a D minus, you can progress from artisan, you can go to certificate, you can go to diploma, you can go to degree and continue with sure. your progression. So there are so many ways. Yes, you'll take too long in school, mm -hmm. but at the end of it all, you'll mm -hmm. attain what you wanted. True. So there are ways mm -hmm. you can get to where you are. So I don't see why someone should give up mm -hmm. or um, fail to attain their goal, maybe because they scored poorly mm -hmm. in their performance. There is a very clear line or clear guideline on how you can progress mm -hmm. in our education system mm -hmm. right now. Yes. Wow, mm. I think I like that. Mm -hmm. um, even me personally, I think there's a time I was talking to someone and uh, she was telling me uh, long ago mm -hmm. during our parents' time, mm -hmm. they could say if I didn't perform well and then that time they didn't embrace educating a girl child. Yeah. So they could say even though I was not mm -hmm. embraced mm -hmm. or shown how to 
to value my education. Mm -hmm. We could start from now certificate. Yeah. Now you're saying starting from artisan. Mm -hmm. Fine, I'll take long, but mm -hmm. by the end of the day, I'll achieve it. Yeah. So uh, this student who looks and say, eh, my friends are going directly to diploma. Mm -hmm. And now me, I'm feeling stressed to start from artisan. Mm -hmm. Should that be a point of concern for me as an individual? Mm -hmm. Or what is my driving point for me now to not to look at what my friends are doing mm -hmm. and for me to focus to, I want, this is what I want to achieve. Mm -hmm. Given that we are talking to the young students mm -hmm. who are just coming into choosing the, to choose these careers, mm -hmm. I'm disappointed, especially now that the Form 4 grades are out. Yeah. Now they are torn in between. Mm -hmm. I was expecting to get this grade. And I'm actually surprised because in most cases when mm -hmm. the Form 4 finish the exam, mm -hmm. the exam takes almost two months mm -hmm. to be marked. Mm -hmm. This time it <laughs> didn't even finish like three yeah, weeks. technology. Exams are out <laughs> and you're like... Mm -hmm. I was talking to, to a friend and also a relative and mm -hmm. I was asking, what grade did you get? She told me, this is what I got. Mm -hmm. But I was expecting this. Mm. So if I was expecting this, mm -hmm. automatically I'm disappointed. True. So my next question is, are you ready to go back to, to repeat the same class? And mm -hmm. she's like, eh, no mm. way. There's no mm. way I'm going to repeat because mm. of ready. There's also that mentality. Mm -hmm. Because I've not achieved yes. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to go back to school? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Because? of also that mentality of I'm um, through with wearing yes, uniform. Yes, I think yes, yes, yes. that affects us mm. also. A lot of students mm -hmm. are affected because of the rules in school. Mm -hmm. Forgetting, do you have rules yes, when you, you come to, to, to the colleges? You and have deliver? to. Do you? You must have rules. Could you please tell us more about it? Because I find that uh, we have this mentality, especially for those who are finishing from four, mm. the mentality of I have finished high school, <laughs> I'm done with, <laughs> Uniform, hmm. not thinking of where I'm going, hmm. schools, roles. Hmm. They think that, hey, well, if I want to go in <laughs> class in a crop top, no one is going to <laughs> ask me. If hmm. I want to get in class with my phone, mm -hmm. if I get calls in hmm. between the lessons, no I can I think, can <laughs> I can walk out. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they, they don't contemplate of the rules. Hmm. Maybe you could shed some light on that rule. Of course, there is no place you'll go. Every society, mm -hmm. there are rules. Mm -hmm. uh, so yes, the strict rules, maybe you're talking about in high school, because mm -hmm. everybody is monitoring you all over, are not there in college and in higher institutions of higher learning. But for sure, we have rules. You have to adhere to the rules. And actually, as you come, you sign against the rules that I'll adhere to the rules. And if you break one or you break two, depending on the magnitude of the rule you've broken, you have to go home. Mm. Even in the job market, when you go to, to, to a job, mm -hmm. there are rules you have to sign. You cannot just do anything you want to do. So you don't say, because you finished high school, rules, you, you left rules there. You will found rule, you'll find rules everywhere you go. So rules is a must, and you have to comply with the rules. Even the government has rules. Mm -hmm. Everywhere you go, you must comply with the rules. Mm -hmm. So they are there all over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you're talking to these young students, mm -hmm. what do we tell them? Because I understand, from my perspective, I understand the aspect of rules mm -hmm. because by the end of the day, even, even in our families, mm -hmm. we have rules. Mm -hmm. You break them, but mm -hmm. by the end of the day, there are those rules you have to, ad to mm -hmm. adhere to. Mm -hmm. Because even in the work fields, eh, mm -hmm. even you, when, where you're working right now, you have a check-in time and yeah. a check-out time. Yes. You just don't walk in because you're the deputy or mm. you're in charge of that department mm -hmm. and you up today, I'm going to come in at 12 a.m., mm. uh, at 12 noon. Mm. Because I must that, get permission. Even though it is your company, <laughs> mm. even though it is your workplace, mm -hmm. there is that sense of discipline mm -hmm. and also showing, showing uh, being the best role model. Mm. So for these young ones mm -hmm. that are coming in, mm -hmm. Uh, what are the kind of discipline that we should look up for mm. in terms of self mm -hmm. and in terms of where you're going? Mm. Yes. So uh, because of those roles, eh, of mm. course, um, 
at the end of it all, especially in a college or in mm -hmm. an institution of higher learning, there is a document we call a recommendation letter mm -hmm. at the end of it all. So once you're done with school, the school requires to write a recommendation letter. Mm -hmm. So depending on how you behave in school, you will get that letter or not. And the first thing you, you will be asked for when you go for a job is a recommendation letter, especially from school. Even in high school, there was a letter called Living Certificate. True. That shows how you behaved. So that shows discipline is very key in everything mm -hmm. you do. Mm -hmm. And you must adhere to the discipline or to the rules of an institution for you to be able to be recommended. But recently what I've realized is uh, a student comes, very innocent, very good, mm -hmm. but after a few days, that student changes. Why? Because of the people they are working, the peer pressure. Mm. They come, very good students, people are listening to you. After two days or three days, because now, the, in a college, no one, or in an institution of higher learning, no one will follow you up everywhere you go. I will not be with you in the hostel, you are sleeping. I will not be you with you as you take lunch everywhere. So no one will be monitoring everything you're doing. So most of the times you come a very good student, but you leave someone we cannot even think about wow. because of peer pressure. But I wish mm -hmm. they can know mm -hmm. that discipline is very key in everything. And whatever you do in school right now will follow you in the future. True. Yes. True. Everything you do. Everything mm -hmm. you do. Viewers, I hope you're learning as much as I am mm. that whatever you do, you should carry it forward. Mm. You should uh, think that of how it's going to affect you. you are, we are learning so much from Madam Mercy about how to guide ourselves that discipline is key. Are you disciplined? Do you follow rules? Or are you a rule breaker? How is this affecting you? Talk to us across all our social media networks, that's GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is to double and double four. We are going to take a short break.